Madonna Lee here again with another video for you. And today's video is going to be a collective haul. Yay! Magic fingers, spirit fingers. I was watching um the the old school movie I used to love as a kid, um, Bring It On last night. Spirit fingers. So, anyways, as like I said, today's video is a collective haul, and I have stuff from Bath and Body Works, I have a couple things from Victoria's Secret, a couple things from Forever 21, as well as Walmart and the drugstore, so we're just gonna get right, right into it. So me and a gal pal of mine went shopping and had lunch over the weekend at one of the biggest malls in my city, so I just kinda went a little crazy. It's the time of year when you renovate your wardrobe, and you get rid of stuff you don't use anymore, and you wanna buy new things and use new things, so I went a little nuts. I mean, like, can you blame me? There were sales on. <laughs> so I'm just going to start with the one thing I picked up from Victoria's Secret. And that is the Victoria's Secret Little Love Spell Set. It has the body wash, body spray, and body lotion. And if you guys haven't smelled the Love Spell by Victoria's Secret, it's to die for. Oh my gosh. It has scents of cherry blossom and peach. And I'm a huge cherry blossom fan. Um, peach so so it's, it's a really really nice summery scent so I picked up this kit and it wasn't on sale or anything I think it was maybe I want to say 20 bucks somewhere around there but like I can smell it through the package I'm actually probably gonna start using these guys around May June so right before summertime and into summertime and yeah I'm really really excited to use this Ooh. it's a great little kit and there's tons of other ones and the smells by Victoria's Secrets are just to die for you have to go check them out. They're just awesome. <laughs> okay, so, and then we're going to get into the stuff I picked up at Bath and Body Works. And I don't really go to Bath and Body Works for, like, their lotion or anything. I go there for the candles. Oh, my God, the candles smell good. And my phone is ringing. Oh, it was just a super telemarketer. You can definitely tell when a telemarketer calls your house because when you say hello, and they don't say hello back within the first three seconds, I just hang up on them. <laughs> if it's that important, they'll call back and leave a message. <laughs> amazing smelling candles they're just awesome so the first little one I picked up I I honestly can't even say it I'll, I will try um e eu mint I don't know I don't know if you guys can see it from the lighting that one however you say that word I don't know how to pronounce it I should have googled it before I started this video but I mean and it's only just a little one, and this guy was twelve fifty, and he's burning a little strange. You guys see, like it's clear on one side, and then there's like a whole rim on the other side. He's burning a little strange, but they smell so good, and it's such a nice, relaxing scent. And I've been burning it, as you guys can see, quite a bit. It's halfway gone, so I really, really like this scent. Yeah, they're two for twenty sale on their giant big three wick candles, and I picked up two of them. The first one I've been burning a little bit, and this one is by White Barn, and it's called Number 3 Renew and Refresh. And this is, like, my favorite one by Bath & Body Works, you guys. Like, mmm. It smells kind of citrusy, and it smells a little floral, but it's, like, a really nice kind of clean scent, too. And I don't mean clean as in it smells like laundry. It's just a really nice scent. Mm. And it's not too strong, it's not too overpowering, and you can you can literally burn this all year round, no matter what season, and it will smell to die for. If you guys haven't checked out this one, I highly recommend you go and get it. Maybe get it in a little one and see if you like it, or if you just smell it in the store like me and you go, holy crap, I have to have that in my life, just buy the big one, because it lasts longest. And then the last one I picked up um, is called Beach Cabana, and it's a blue candle. And it does kind of have like that oceany smell that some candles have or some like or what they claim to have. It does smell a little bit clean too and it kind of smells a little bit like laundry soap but not too bad. It also has kind of like this woodsy to teak like tiki hut after smell or like a sauna smell kind of. It's to die for. It smells so good. I haven't burned this one yet but it smells so good. I'm kind of saving this for later on in the spring and summer and then the last two little things i got from bath and body works were just hand sanitizers um i got the one in fresh picked strawberries because it smells so good and i also got the one in warm vanilla sugar and then i got the the little elephant girl to go on my keychain she's so cute 
I could not say no. I also picked up a couple things from Forever 21. The first being these little bow diamond earrings. They're the cutest things ever. I could not say no. They were just so cute. And the second thing I got was this really pretty bracelet. Um, and it's kind of like a, a chain-like effect with like little studded jewel guys and then like a little rope area thing. And it's really pretty and it just has like a little a little clasp guy at the back. But yeah, they're really pretty and I really, really like them. And now we'll move on to, um, I got some new shoes from Payless Shoe Source, if you guys have Payless Shoes. Um, and I only paid, I think it was, oh, the receipt's still in here, so I can tell ya. With tax and everything, came to $31.50. It's a little pricey for shoes, but I really like them and I didn't care. And they're just these little gray airwalk sneakers with a little plaid purple at the back. I'm a sucker for sneakers like these. They're flat, they're comfortable. They kind of look skater shoe, but not really skater shoe and look kind of retro in a way too, like the old school shoes. Um, I'm definitely a sneaker girl. I'm not one to really wear um, like heels in the summer. I will wear sneakers or ballet flats or flippy floppies. Yes, I call them flippy floppies. They're not flip flops, they're flippy floppies. But I really, really love these shoes, and I just tried them on in the store, and I walked around in them, and they fit my feet like a glove. I have room to wiggle my toes. It's just amazing. These shoes are awesome, and I'm going to start wearing them as soon as the snow in Canada decides to go away until next year. But it's been snowing nonstop in my city since all day yesterday and half of today, so I'll insert a little clip of what it looks like outside right now, right here. to the store HMV. It's kind of like um, a movie store, a CD store um, in Canada. I don't know if they have it in the States. Comment down below. Let me know if you do. I don't really know what they have in the States versus in Canada. I know for a fact that we have a heck of a lot less stores than the States in Canada, but I don't really know what it is vice versa. So anyways, but I picked up four movies ah! and they were only five bucks a piece. So I picked up Seabiscuit, Starring Tobey Maguire because he's amazing and I really, really like it. And, like, everybody loves a sappy horse movie that makes them cry. Like, come on. It's Sea Biscuit. The next one I picked up is The Phantom of the Opera. And if you guys have not seen this musical, I highly recommend you do. It is a very acquired taste musical, though. There is quite a lot of la 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 That's kind of singing. So, I mean... <laughs> But the story is just beautiful. It's about a love story. He's in love with her, but she's in love with some other guy. But I won't spoil the story or tell you guys if you have seen it already. But if you haven't watched The Phantom of the Opera, you have to. It's so amazing and it's such a classic. And then I got one. <laughs> I got a funny one for Kyle and me to watch called um, Hot Tub Time Machine. This has the theatrical version and the unrated version. And I think Kyle and I went to see this in theater. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we went to see it in theater and it was just so hilarious. And when I saw it was only five bucks, I was like, why not? It's not one of those comedy movies that you watch and it's like really, really stupid. It's one of those comedy, like it's at least as funny as The Hangover. So if you guys haven't seen Hot Tub Time Machine, definitely give it a try. It's a really good movie. And the last movie that I have to share with you is one of my favorites. And it's called Serendipity, starring John Cusack and Kate Beckinsall, and I won't spoil the story, but essentially these two meet one, eight, one wintry evening in New York. It's a really, really sweet movie, and it's all about fate and love and your soulmates. Ah, it's wonderful! <laughs> so last thing I have for you guys, I bought a, whoa, where's the name? A ton of stuff from Wally World. Wally World, I call it Wally World. Walmart! First one I got it's just a cute little plaid summer shirt. Ooh. And it's kind of nice and loose fitting um, because in my city we have this thing that happens every year where everybody busts out their plaid and their hats and their boots. Comment down below, take a guess if you know where I'm from. Ooh. <laughs> also got a cute little Hello Kitty shirt. I love Hello Kitty. You're never too old to wear Hello Kitty. Um, it's got Hello Kitty's face and it says love and he's winking. So cute. An oversized sweatshirt with flirty bird from Angry Birds. I don't know what it is, guys, as you can tell from today. I just really like sweatshirts like this right now. Oh, she's so cute. But it's really big and oversized, and I got it to wear with, like, my tights and stuff. So, 
I mean, it's just so freaking adorable. You can't say no. And the last shirt that I got, um, <laughs> I, I just, I, I had to get it. It's so cute. Um, and it has this picture of a little panda. <laughs> a good little Korean panda, and it's a Gangnam style. I has it. I just loved it. I thought it was cute. The song is so catchy, and it's it's on my iPod and in my workout my workout playlist, and it's awesome. Then I picked up some beauty related items. So I have two new foundations that I bought. The first one being the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and I did use this for the first time yesterday, and I'm not wearing this in this video today. This is a different foundation or <laughs> tinted moisturizer, if you want to call it, and I that will. That review video will be coming soon, and I can't open this. I screwed it on too tight. Essentially, this is what it looks like, and it comes with a little thingy, and it's really, really whipped. I was expecting this foundation to be somewhat lighter than it is, but it definitely feels a lot thicker on your skin. It reminds me a lot of my, um, my Garnier Fructis BB Cream. But yeah, so this one will be coming up in the future as a review. And I also picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation because so many people on YouTube have said nothing but good things about this thing. So, and it's really similar to the same packaging as the um, Nearly Naked by Revlon. So, this one will be a review in the future, too. I have yet to try this, so. I also picked up a bronzer in the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder. It's going to reflect lighting. But it's in the color Sunny. And it's just a really nice matte bronzer. Um, I Last year, I used Hula by Benefit. I still really like Hula by Benefit, but... I wanted one that was a cheap alternative, so that's what it looks like on my fair skin. Like, it's still really quite fair, and it gives you a little bit of a tanny color payoff. And I also picked up three of the Color CoverGirl eyeshadows because people have been saying that the CoverGirl's formulation has changed or whatever, but, I mean, I decided to pick up three. They were on sale, too, so I was intrigued. The first one is this color called... Bedazzled Biscotti, and it's just like a tan color with some sparkles, if you guys can see. So there's the finger swatch of it. It's really, really pretty. And there's it swatched on my hand. You can't even see it, but as you guys can see, there's sparkles. The next one is called Tapestry Taupe, and this is beautiful. I love this color. That's what it looks like on my finger. That's what it looks like on my hand. It's really quite sheer. And then the last one I got is in a really favorite, a favorite, favorite one, apparently, from a lot of people on YouTube, is Champagne. That's what the color looks like. It's a really bright white champagne iridescent color. And you won't be able to tell it on my skin. Oh, yeah, you can. You can. Right there. It's really, really bright. Ooh, reflective. Pretty. Sorry for being in my room. Um, I just forgot to include more of the L'Oreal Colorish Wet Shine stains that I picked up at Walmart as well. They were in the bottom of the bag and I forgot to include them, so sorry. But I'll include them right now. I picked up Endless Red. Woo. Infinite Fuchsia. So pretty. Then I picked up Pink Resistance. It's very similar to Rose On and On, but it's a little bit brighter. And then pink preservance and it's a really nice light baby pink and the last thing that I picked up from my shopping trip was um, I went to the bookstore um, and they had a bunch of old used books on sale and like you could pick a book for a dollar a dollar and it goes and it helped the um the city's breakfast club for kids and stuff in schools and so I picked up Twilight because I do not actually have a physical copy of this book. Well, I do now, but, I mean, it didn't before. I remember back in grade 12 when I first started reading the Twilight series, I fell in love with Edward. But as soon as that bastard left Bella, mm -mm, I was all about Jacob. <laughs> when he came back in the book, in the second book, I was like, yeah, whatever, man. You're just coming back because you don't want him to steal your girl. <laughs> that's how it went down, and that's how I've kind of been viewing Edward ever since. He loves Bella, no doubt, but... Jacob loves her more. In my opinion, you guys, Taylor Lautner should model Calvin Klein underwear. Just like, just thinking about it makes me drool. And he also, Taylor Lautner also, in my opinion, should have been the new Spider-Man because, damn, he can pull off that suit. Comment down below and let me know if you guys think that Taylor Lautner should definitely model Calvin Klein underwear and should have been the new Spider-Man in the movie. Like, Oh, 
just it makes me drool <laughs> so yeah I picked up the Twilight book and I'm hoping to fall back in love with Edward like I did the first time so and then I'll probably um buy the other two books the only one I have besides this one is is the is Breaking Dawn so We'll buy the other two and I'll reread the Twilight series because now the movies are done. Yay! So that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little collective spring haul. Um, comment down below if you have any questions of the products I've shown you or like this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> see you later. Bye.